Yes. Do you recognize the handwriting on that envelope? Hey, I don't want to look at it. Come on, Lucy. You have to look. The handwriting. Take a look. No, I don't recognize it, okay? Do you have some brandy around here? Something that'll calm you down. No, just give me a second, okay? Sure. Come on, sit down for a minute. Calm I yourself. I can't. I can't sit down. I'm just freezing. You're freezing. It's warm in here. I'll get some water. I'll be right there. sure it wasn't in your mail, the rest of your mail, when you picked it up? Yes, I'm sure. Jake, that means whoever left it did it while I was right here at home. You remember hearing anybody at the front door? No, no, I had the television on and I, I was in the shower. All right, all right, listen. Think, think. <laughs> you know of anybody who might have sent this? Some old enemy, no, somebody. Jake, I have a lot of enemies. I don't have friends. Oh, come on, you do this for a living. Give me the... What are you doing? I just want to throw it in the trash. Oh, 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 you can't do that. This is important. Police have to see this. I don't want the police to see it. It will just cause more harm than good. No, it won't, Lucy. Anyway, this is important evidence. This is serious. You can't just throw this away. It's just everything is getting worse and worse. No, it isn't. Listen to me. Look. Hey, hey. Stop for a minute and listen to me. Lucy, listen. You listening? Yes. This letter could be a big break for us. That letter? Why? Yes, this letter. Don't you see? If you're you talking crazy. No, I'm not talking crazy. Listen to me. If you can't think of any place else where this letter came from, it probably came from the killer, the guy who's trying to frame you. Are you going to think it could come from the real killer? Until he shows up, we can use all the men we can get. <laughs> Are they all the ones for me? <laughs> oh, oh, I love this club. Oh, thank it you. It's super to work in a place like this. Can you came? Yes. Well, hey, you guys should talk to Felicia because she's kind of running it for a good friend. Oh, you're running it? With a lot of help. Well, do you need more? Paid help? Well, we'd need some kind of salary. Well, right now I'm working with a skeleton crew because we had to make a lot of cuts. And a lot of my people had to leave and go to better jobs. Well, it seems pretty busy tonight. Oh, we yeah, are busy. But um, I'll keep you in mind if something comes up, all right? Okay. Um, would you excuse me for a minute? Sure. Okay. Where was the apartment I 
back to mine, I feel should be safer there. I certainly can understand that. I overheard what you were saying, Patrick. Can you sit with us for a minute? Oh, yes, I think I can. The club seems to be running for a while. I'm tell you if she moves out of the apartment in the show. Is everybody going home after they leave here tonight? I would think so. Sure. But we have a meeting. Fine with me. Well, about what? I think I have a way to make everyone feel safer there. Can you make it? I'll have to think about it. To get me back over there, I think we'll take an armed guard. <laughs> oh, we'll be your guards, Tiffany. Uh, you know, that's not such a bad idea. <sighs> Isn't she wonderful? Yeah, yes, she is. Oh, I think it's time to... I'll come with you, sister. Later, then. Honey, you are wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Let's show you uh, going. Yes, I'll see you at the brownstone later, okay? All right. Well, this is my last show, so I'm just going to get my clothes and go. All right. We'll just take that kind of fun to leave. I'll wait for you uh, while you change to Christmas. Oh, all right. See you later. I'm glad that I caught you alone. Well, it sounds serious. Uh, well, it's a little lighter on your side. Well, that's good. How do you feel about me living with you? What? Know you? Yeah, a little. I don't know where you're heading. Well, you never did answer the question. Jade living with me. Mm -hmm. I think it's out of its world. That's all I need to know. Explanations come later. Wonderful time. Oh, thank you. Have you had a wonderful time too, Bill? Oh, I sure did. Come back. I'll be back. Oh, we'll be back. Okay. We'll see you later, right? Right. In just a few minutes. Thank you so much. We had a great time. Oh, we did. And when would be a good time to come back and talk about work here? Um, in just a couple of days, they'll have things worked out by then. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. All right. Good night. the last one to leave, are they? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Sean's working tonight. I wanted to thank you for doing Celebrity Corner here tonight because we need all the publicity we can get. Oh, any time, Skitchick. You know, I called the station a little while ago and the telephone response from the show was excellent. You know, I've got a feeling that Patrick and Yank are the most wanted men in Port Charles tonight. <laughs> in a delightful way, of course. <laughs> can we make it to the meeting tonight? Uh, I'm not tonight. Um... I'm not going to stay there while Lucy goes. Um, what's it about, anyway? I think I have a way to shake up the brownstone. I talked to Yank a little while ago about Jane. It certainly sounds like you guys had a good time tonight. I'm sorry I missed it. Oh, there's something that I'd like us to remember to do after we get our baby. What's that? Well, first of all, I'd like us to give a check to Tommy for the baby's college fund. College fund? She's not a year old yet. I know, but Tanya and I were talking today. She said it's going to cost a quarter of a million dollars by the time that kid's ready to go to college. So she opened up an account, and I'd really like us to contribute. Okay, I'll write a check in the morning. How did your meeting with Lucy go? Can we discuss this rationally? Of course we can. We made a pact, didn't we? Is the pact still intact? Yes, it is. We didn't get to discuss her defense. Something pretty frightening happened to her tonight. What? She got a hand-delivered letter. It was a letter with cutouts from a magazine pasted on it, pinning her as the murderer. Who do you think sent it? I think it was the real killer, the one who was trying to frame her. <sighs> not necessarily. Let's not fight about this. I'm not, not, no, I'm what not even talking to a fight. What does not necessarily mean? I'll tell you this for what it's worth, okay? After you and I ran into Lucy coming out of my office today, I went in there and I found the remains of a very glossy fashion magazine in the wastebasket. What do you mean, Amy was in there, and Lucy was in there, and she was reading a magazine, and she tore one of the pages out, and she started cutting it up with the scissors. And this is an exact quote from Amy. She said, Lucy's anger was frightening. Now, I found these pages in the wastebasket, and Amy explained to me what happened to that. Oh, say. What the hell time was this? This was just before you and I ran into Lucy coming out of my office. Now, don't get sore. I'm not getting sore at you. I'm getting sore at Lucy. Which is lying again? 
Well, I didn't say it. Well, hey, Ray, where are you going? Felicia wants to have a meeting. You take care of it, sweetheart. I'm going to Lucy Cole. I'm going to get the truth out of her once and for all.